What is going on y'all? Today is February. No, it's not. Today is March 6th and today's video is going to be a quick, easy, simple to understand episode two of Spend Less, Make More, where basically I go over things that I've sold previously on eBay or Grailed and I kind of show you what types of pieces do well in my personal style. Let's jump straight into it. We're going to go from February 26th of 2018 to March 5th of 2018 and that's going to be a week's span and I'll show you guys how much I made. The first sale that I had on February 26th was this vintage L.L. Bean plaid flannel shirt. It's just a nice basic pattern, you know, a little bit of blue, a little bit of green, but it was in great, great condition and I paid $3 for it and it sold for $19.99 on eBay. This shirt cost me $3.50 to ship and that means that I made a $13.50 profit off of it. The next thing that I sold were these men's Levi 559 relaxed straight jeans. I purchased this from a Goodwill for $2.50. I sold them for $15 plus free shipping. It cost me $6 to ship this thing so I made about a $6.50 profit. The next piece that I sold was another pair of denim jeans. I found these at a Savers for $3 because I always, always go on student discount days or anything after Wednesday when they have 50% off sales. But it was just a light, low-waisted, medium wash denim from H&M. They sold for $15.99, let's just say $16. It cost me $6 to ship a pair of these in a flat rate envelope. I'm making about a $6.50 profit on this pair of jeans here. Up next is this vintage Alaska crew neck sweater. It's got a nice color blocking to it and some really, really cool embroidery on it. Not a very popular brand, Renegade Club, but the embroidery and the stitching and just the pattern and colors were so dope. I had to scoop it up for $2. It sold for $15 on eBay, cost me $6 to ship. So that's gonna be an $8 profit on just a nice little sweater like that. The next thing that I sold is gonna be this Supreme Black Necklace Tee from the first week's drop of uh, Supreme's Spring Summer 2018 collection. Just a basic graphic tee. I purchased it for $46 after shipping. I put it up on Grailed, which is another site that I use to sell stuff, which we'll get into another time. But it sold for $90, which essentially is double the amount that I paid to grab the shirt, $4 to ship it that's a $40 profit that I made off of just one shirt and then just sticking with the theme of supreme ooh, we got some fire ass supreme accessories you got the Wilson tennis balls from spring summer 2018 week number two initially I wanted these for myself but then I realized that I don't even fucking play tennis and it would just be a whack ass accessory to keep up in my house so I purchased these for $26 Sold them on eBay for $72. They actually haven't come in yet, but I assume it'll cost like five or six bucks to ship them. So off these tennis balls alone, I made a $40 profit. It's really easy for me because I already have some credibility online. So once I purchase these Supreme items and I list them immediately, they sell before the actual item comes to me. Okay, up next we have this maroon Carhartt long sleeve t-shirt has a nice little Carhartt logo on the pocket right here I bought this thing for 250 pretty much everything I buy is under five dollars sold for fifteen dollars it cost me four dollars to ship so that's gonna be about an eight dollar and fifty cent profit for moi for some reason jeans just do really really well for me because the next piece is gonna be this vintage Tommy Hilfiger straight leg boot cut whatever you want to call it jean and uh, it's got a nice Tommy jeans embroidery on the pocket here on the left side. It has a nice Tommy flag and just all kind of little things that make it stand out. But that's what brings the value of a lot of pieces up. So I paid $5 for this pair of jeans. I sold it for $30 on eBay and it cost me $6 to ship. So that's going to be a $19 profit on one pair of jeans. The next piece I was able to get my hands on was this brand new Tommy Jeans t-shirt. I paid $4 for this shirt. It sold for $24. Cost me four more dollars to ship it. So that's a $16 profit off of this brand new Tommy Jeans shirt. This upcoming piece I've actually had for about two months now. It sat in my closet for the longest time, but it finally sold just this last week. It's a vintage Oakland Raiders snapback hat. It's got a nice script and embroidery and everything on it, but I had it listed at $32 before, and I eventually bumped it down to 30 sorry, $25, and it sold like that. So 
that's kind of like a little learning lesson for me too because I wanted to set it at 32 because I know vintage snapbacks are really hard to come across. Um, but it just wasn't selling at that price point. So I had to lower it, $7, and just like that, it sold within the next hour or so. But let me break that one down too. I paid $4 for this hat. It sold for $25. Uh, it cost me $4 to ship. So let's see, that's gonna be a $17 profit off of just one vintage hat. So the piece that I sold on Instagram was a vintage Miami Dolphins crew neck sweater. It's a 1994. You can actually see the little uh, screen print on there that says the year it was printed. I purchased this sweater for $2 at a local Savers. It sold for $20 directly on my Instagram. I actually give return customers a 10% discount when they DM me through Instagram. So the guy I sold it to purchased it for $18, cost me $6 to ship, meaning that I made a $10 profit off of this shirt. So that brings me to my second piece, which was a new customer on Instagram. He purchased a vintage Phoenix Suns starter jacket. It's a nice pullover with some good embroidery on the front and the back. I purchased this thing for $14, which I usually don't do, but this shit was just way too fire. So I purchased it for $14. My man's purchased it for $45, $6 to ship it. So that's gonna be a $25 profit for me, but damn, this thing was fire. It's definitely worth over $60, and I've seen it sell on eBay for 65. So I think 45 is a pretty fair price on it. And that's actually gonna bring this week's video to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed the pieces you saw. I hope you learned a little bit more about what styles do well on eBay, uh, realistic profit margins, and how much I actually rake in from all this stuff. If you wanna give it a shot, hit up your local thrift store, pick up some items listed on eBay, and uh, see how they do. Cause really, the only reason I know what pieces do well for me now is because I did it for so long. If you wanna purchase anything from me individually, hit up my DMs on Instagram at superhotthrifts, or you can just find my pieces on eBay directly. I'll be having another vlog up pretty soon. Please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see y'all next week.